Now, first of all, I want to share some of my personal shit. Can I do that? I done been down here two or three times. I feel like we family up in here, right? So now, I want to make y'all clear on some things. The first time y'all met me, I had actually just signed myself out of a mental institution. Don't judge me. Actually, it was more like an escape. They don't let you just sign yourself out and shit. But see, what had happened was, when I signed myself into that mental institution, I thought it was a marriage institution. Until I realized this motherfucker crazy, and he's trying to drive me insane. So I escaped, right? Now, my escape wasn't easy by no means. See, because the man was crazy. And ladies, if you were a man that is crazy, and you want to escape, you think during your escape some things might go down. You think you're either going to be shot up, stabbed up, or beat up. But one of these ups is definitely going down because this motherfucker crazy. But oh no, not your craziness I pick. <clears throat> no, he couldn't do the normal crazy shit, stab, shoot, or beat a bitch. He want to do some new shit. He want to tase a motherfucker. <laughs> You ever been tased? This is some real shit. So now, the day that I decided to make my announcement that I'm escaping, I got myself mentally prepared for one of the ups to go down because I know this motherfucker crazy. So I make the announcement, uh, listen here, you're crazy in this shit. I'm checking out your cuckoo palace. Fuck you and all them imaginary friends and lower stuff you got running around in your head. I'm out, right? So now when I made the announcement, y'all immediately started talking shit. Cause I think if you're going down, you might as well go down talking shit. So I'm getting it in. Yeah, you crazy motherfucker. Fuck you, bitch. I'm getting it in, right? Now when he started coming towards me, I actually got happy. Cause I figured at this point, the shooter must not be going down cause he can do that shit from across the room, right? So now I'm talking no shit. I'm getting it in, yeah, and your mama crazy, bitch. Now when he got right up on me, y'all, my natural instincts kicked in. And you know how we do, ladies. We get into a scuffle, we're gonna cover our face, right? So I threw my hand up, and I can see out of my puff. I can see out of my puff. I can see out of my puff. What is it? You know the fuck I'm talking about when you see somebody out the side of your eye. Okay, what's it called? Okay, I can see out of my peripheral, that shit. I can see out of that. My then he had something in his hand, but I couldn't quite make it out what it was, right? So I'm talking to the Lord, and I said, Lord, whatever's going down, we gonna do this shit. Let's go. So I'm gonna race swing with this hand. He got close up on me, and I heard him say, well, if I can't have you, won't nobody have you, right? Then the next thing I heard, y'all, was a sound, kind of sound like a bug zap or some shit. Now it took me a few minutes to figure out what the fuck happened. <laughs> so immediately I start talking to the Lord. I'm like, Lord, Father God, this is not what we planned. I was ready to be stabbed, shot, or beat up in this motherfucker, but how do I recover from this shit? And as I lay there shaking on the floor and shit, I noticed this peculiar smell. I'm like, what the hell is that smell? Right? Yo, this man had tased my coochie. <laughs> So there I lay on the floor when he lectures for Gucci. How do you escape this shit? So the only thing I knew do is I weep and walk my ass over to the goddamn door and got the fuck on. And ain't been back since. Now I share my story of domestic violence just in case there's somebody in here tonight that is experiencing that. Baby girl, get out. Just get out. Now granted, you might end up being scarred for life, but at least your ass got a life. And besides, I can now do things that other women just can't do. I can walk up to a man and be like, you know what, baby? If I give you some of this shit here, you gonna find it shockingly good. I'm talking about sparks flying in this motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? So escape, you might get something good out of that shit. 